All right, thank you. So, um, on the title screen here, um, this is about, well, first of all, um, I'm Alex Taylor. Hi. Um, I'm representing, uh, today I'm representing ARCA NOAA. Now, I'm going to talk about the national language support in ARCA OS. And national language support, or NLS, means uh, support for different languages in a particular software product. So on other platforms, it's com commonly referred to as I18N, or internationalization. In the OS2 world, we usually call it NLS, or national language support. Can I have the first slide, please? I mean, the next slide, please. So the most fundamental form of national language support is the publishing of national language versions, or NLVs. So talking about ArcOS, an NLV means uh, a version of ArcOS in a language other than English. So uh, ArcOS 5.0 was released in English only, as you're probably aware. Um, this was done because most of our development effort had to go towards creating the basic product. But for 5.1, we hope to release ARCA OS in other languages. Our approach to different languages is to have one NLV, one national language version, for each language. So in other words, we have a single English version which covers the US, UK, Canadian, Australian, and uh, all other English-speaking markets. If we release a French NLV, then it would cover European French and Canadian French, and so on. Unavoidably, this will require us to settle on one set of default national language conventions per NLV. Um, for English, that would be US English. Um, for French, that would be European French. For Spanish, European Spanish. Uh, and if we release Portuguese, however, we would use Brazilian Portuguese as the basis because that's what the underlying OS2 from IBM used. Um, now, Chinese is a bit of a special case since there are two entirely different forms of written Chinese. Uh, OS2 has separate NLVs for them, simplified Chinese, which is used in the mainland, and traditional Chinese, which is used in Taiwan and Hong Kong. So if we release Chinese NLVs for ARCA OS, we would follow the same separation. Speaking of which, NLVs are divided into two broad types, single byte character set, or SBCS, and double byte character set, or DBCS. Now SBCS is what most of us use, uh, and includes all Western languages like English, French, German, Dutch, and so on. DBCS is specific to four East Asian languages, which are Japanese, Korean, and the two versions of Chinese. The reason DBCS is treated specially is because these NLVs include several additional components and they require some extra work in development. So that gives you some background. Uh, I'm sure what you're most interested in is which NLVs are we planning to release and in what order? Well. Uh, I'm afraid the answer is that depends. Specifically, it depends on whether, uh, whether and how soon we can make an NLV depends on these factors. First is the availability of already translated components, which includes not only OS2 itself, but various add-ons that ARCA OS includes, like X Workplace, Dynamic Icons, Firefox, etc. The second factor is how much demand we feel there is for an NLV uh, in that language. So we really need to hear from the public to judge this properly. If you want ARCA OS in your language, say so. Tell us. Tell our resellers. If we don't sense any demand for a given language, then we won't do it. So third is whether we can get translators to help us we depend largely on volunteers for this, which means the OS2 community, which means you guys. If we have no translators for a given language, we can't do it. We need you. Next slide, please. 
So, um, talking about the development effort that it, uh, an NLV requires, uh, obviously we can't just snap our fingers and uh, have a, an NLV pop out. Some NLVs are easier for us to make than others. It basically depends on how many pieces are already available in that language. And the biggest piece, obviously, is OS2 itself. So the easiest languages for us to target are those for which MCP2 and a recent fix pack were released by IBM. Besides English, obviously, this includes German, French, Spanish, Italian, if we can get our hands on it, Japanese, and Chinese, both versions. Now, if we only have MCP1 or Warp 4 with fix pack 15 or higher, then quite a bit more work is going to be necessary to create the ARCA OS core system. It's doable, but we would need to know, especially for this case, that there is a demand out there. So this kind of category, this group of languages, which requires a bit more work, includes Dutch, includes Russian, uh, possibly Swedish and Portuguese. I'm not quite sure about those last two. Um, but yeah, we need to know that there is actually going to be a, a market for them. And then we have the hardest languages to do, which are those for which there is nothing more recent than Warp 4, plus maybe an old fix pack, like 12 or less. So these languages are actually really hard for us to do. We can do them if there is sufficient demand, but we need that level of demand. This includes Danish, Norwegian, and Greek. It would be a big effort to release Arca OS in those languages, so we need a compelling reason. And finally, um, if a language didn't even have a Warp 4 release available for it, then it's off the table. Sorry, there's no way for us to do it. Uh, or at least, yeah, there, basically there's no way for us to do it. Um, that would include Hebrew, Arabic, I think um, Finnish, Thai, a few others that never had a Warp 4 release at all. We basically can't do those. Um, but a lot of languages that we can do, and again, we need to hear from the uh, community what kind of demand there is. And we also need, uh, obviously, translation. So other major pieces besides OS2 itself are going to need translating for an NLV. And this is where we rely on translators um, to help us. So X Workplace is probably the biggest single component besides OS2 itself. Now, fortunately, this has actually been done for a number of languages already. Uh, other components include dynamic icons, um, the multimedia classes, various bundled tools and applications, and of course, the Arca OS installer. And I'll talk more about these pieces later on. Uh, next slide, please. So, uh, we should be on slide five now, NLV status. What is our situation? Uh, we've started work on several NLVs, as uh, I think Lewis mentioned yesterday. Now, don't get too excited if you see your language written on the slide here. Just because we've started working on it doesn't mean it's going to be one of the first ones out of the gate. The order that we start working on them internally doesn't necessarily reflect the order that we'll finish working on them. How long each one takes depends on various factors, including most of the ones I've already mentioned. And actually, um, even if a language is listed here, that doesn't actually mean we promise to release it. If we don't get the translators to help us, there's only so much we can do. Sadly, we at Arca OS don't ourselves speak every language on Earth fluently. Uh, we do have uh, German and Spanish media building and installing, uh, although most of the OS2, the non-OS2 stuff hasn't been translated yet, uh, neither has the desktop, uh, but it has been started. Um, I've also got Japanese building. We don't really have anything for Japanese translated yet, besides OS2 itself, um, except what's available publicly already. And again, we will need volunteers to help us translate. 
Um, uh, we also have a somewhat experimental Korean Arca OS under development. Um, I, I started working on it during the Olympics just because, and uh, I kind of kept going on it. Um, it is kind of experimental. If it's ever going to happen again, we'll need translators for that as well. And we have some other languages that are kind of on the radar, but we haven't started work on yet. So uh, again, if you want your language translated, if you want Arca OS available in your language, volunteer. Help us. We need you. All right. Uh, next slide, please. How can you help us? I'm glad you asked. If you want to help us release ArcaOS NLVs, there are a few different ways that you can help make it happen. So, first of all, uh, we're still looking. Next slide, please. Uh, slide seven. We're still, by the way, um, I am still connected, right? I can't actually hear anything. Oh, okay, good, just checking. Uh, first of all, we're still looking for OS2 CDs, especially MCP2, uh, in all of the languages that IBM released. We have some of them. We don't have all of them. We would like all of them. Uh, we already have English, German, Spanish, French, Swedish, Simplified Chinese, and Japanese. I uh, believe we also have Warp 4, which was the latest versions of uh, Korean and Russian. We still need Italian, Dutch. I think that was only an MCP1, or maybe even Warp 4, I'm not, not sure. Uh, we need Brazilian Portuguese. We need traditional Chinese, also known as Taiwanese, uh, and whatever else MCP was released in. Uh, I don't actually have a list of the specific languages that MCP2 came in. I think there were about eight of them in total. Um, MCP1 actually had more releases. So if there's no MCP2 release for a given language, then we would like the MCP1 release. And if there was no MCP1, then we'll take Warp 4. Uh, we, we are, you know, we're not, we're not asking for anything dodgy here. We are legally entitled to these. Our contract with IBM allows it. But uh, getting hold of them is uh, something that uh, we are kind of looking to do. And we would like help from people who may have these sitting in a cupboard or uh, in a box under the desk somewhere. If you have it, uh, please let us know. And I'll have the information for you to contact us on the last slide. So besides MCP, we also need the latest fix packs for OS2, if possible. So that means convenience package fix pack 4 in all languages that we can get our hands on. Uh, we have already, we have English, German, Spanish, Italian, Japanese, and both versions of Chinese. We are still looking for fix pack 4 in French, Dutch, if it exists, um, uh, Portuguese, if it exists, uh, and a few others. Uh, the same goes for the networking product fix packs, especially MPTS, if they exist. I'm not actually 100% sure that they were ever released in languages other than English, but if they were, then we'd like to have them. Uh, this isn't as critical as the OS stuff. Uh, we can make do with the English versions of the networking fix packs if we have to. Um, you might be a few pieces of the network stack that don't get translated as a result, but I mean, that's um, probably not a major problem. Uh, next slide, please. Translators. This is the other big thing we need, and I've mentioned this several times already. I can't emphasize it enough. If you want to see Arca OS available in your language, volunteer as a translator. Please, I want to emphasize this again. A national language version of Arca OS in a particular language cannot happen if we don't get translators. So you can't just expect to sit back and wait for us to magically produce Arca OS in whatever language 
if we don't get anyone helping translate. Now, as I mentioned, some languages do require greater translation effort than others. But we provide translation instructions for each component, product by product, component by component. We have basically broken it down into a list of components that we have, and we can help with the knowledge that you need to help us translate it. Now, if you volunteer, sorry, when you volunteer to help us translate, um, you don't have to translate everything. You don't have to take on the responsibility for everything. Just say, you know, I want to translate this particular application. I want to translate this particular product, this particular piece. Choose a piece. Do what you can. If you find that that was easy, volunteer to do another piece. Uh, it, it's okay. You don't have to bite off everything at once. Uh, and the other thing, you don't need to be a developer or a programmer for this. You don't need programming expertise. Yes, yeah, some technical know-how doesn't hurt, but as long as you can speak the language and can find your way around a computer, you can, you can do this. And again, we can help you. Let us help you help us. All right, next slide, please. Um, talking specifically about X Workplace. Now, as I mentioned, X Workplace is probably the single biggest piece that needs translating, with the possible exception of the in ArcOS installer, but that's arguable, actually. The X Workplace is quite large. But it's also got pretty good instructions um, provided by Ulrich. Um, for doing the translation. Uh, also, X Workplace has already been translated for many languages. Well, several languages. Um, but most of the translations out there are going to need updating because there have been some changes, some enhancements to X Workplace over the last year or two. Uh, some of the translations don't yet reflect that. so. If you can volunteer to update the existing X Workplace translation, it's not a big job in that case. There's maybe a dozen or so strings at most that are going to need new translations. Um, however, there are some X Workplace translations that are not currently in SVN. You, know, you, you look on Hobbs, you can find Russian X Workplace or Taiwanese X Workplace, maybe. Um, I know it exists anyway. Um, but we don't have the source code for it for some reason, so uh, they may need to be decompiled, which, again, it can be done. It's not Language resources aren't actually that difficult to, to decompile, but some, some reassembly may be required uh, for these languages. And again, um, Russian and uh, Taiwanese are the two that I particularly know about. Uh, I got a question about there was an Italian NLV of ECS 1.2 but no X Workplace. I don't know. Um, all I know is if I look in S work X Workplace SVN, I do not see an Italian translation of the branch. Uh, if I look on Hobbs, I didn't find I didn't find one there either, although I didn't do an exhaustive search. So it's possible there might have been a translation in ECS, but I don't know. Uh, again, it's GPL software, so the source should be available. If it isn't, then we can certainly uh, extract the language, but that's uh, from any existing binaries, but that's kind of a lot of work. So source code is better, obviously, if anybody knows of the source code, the language sources for a particular language, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, other languages besides possibly Italian, maybe put a question mark beside that, um, that need full translation, as far as I know, for X Workplace include Spanish, Portuguese, Korean, and simplified Chinese. But I want to emphasize this 
Translating X Workplace doesn't just benefit Arca OS because it goes into, you translate X Workplace, it goes into the public X Workplace repository and then future releases of X Workplace, including the full version, will also benefit. So translating X Workplace benefits the whole OS2 community, not just us. And actually the same goes for a lot of these components. A lot of the things, a lot of the pieces that are in Arca OS are um, applications that are already available, already out there, already exist. Some of them are open source, some of them are not. But if you volunteer to translate any of these applications, again, it benefits the whole community, not just specifically Arca OS. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, next slide, please. All right, slide 10. Uh, one other thing uh, that we can always use is uh, proofreaders, once we start getting these translations in, uh, and testers to test the NLV builds as we start putting them out. Uh, if you don't feel up to actually doing the translation, then you may still be able to help us this way. So. If, if we build, say, Spanish Arca OS, um, to test it properly, we're going to need probably Spanish-speaking OS2 users to, to be able to test it. Uh, and of course, we do translation. The more eyes, the better. Software, documentation, they will all need checking and proofreading. So even if you don't want to do the actual slog work of translating, you can help us uh, test it, verify it, proofread it. So that's another way that you can assist. And again, you don't need technical expertise to do this. Next slide, please. All right. How to volunteer. This is how you can get in touch with us. If you can help us with the non-English languages in one of the ways that I've just spent the last 20 minutes describing, then please contact Arkanoi staff. If you can't, corral us in person, since I don't think there are many of us actually in person there. Um, there is an email address, devinfo at um, If you're seriously interested in helping with the translation effort, whether it's um, you have uh, national language versions of OS2 or fix packs, whether you want to help with the translation, whether you want to help with proofreading, etc. Use this email address, get in touch with us. Now, um, this is not a free for all for people who just want access to the test team. This is specifically for people who want to help us with national language versions uh, of Arca OS. So uh, if you're willing and able to volunteer your time, or if you have some uh, leads on OS2 versions or OS2 resources or people who can potentially help us translate, um, then please, yes, get in touch with us at this email address. All right, before I wrap up, um, I thought I'd give you a quick glimpse of a couple of things that I've been working on here. Um, just going to try and share my screen here. Can you uh, enlarge my uh, screen? Yeah. Okay, so um, can you see my uh OS2 VM here. Okay, so as you, this is the current status of our German uh, test builds. As you can see, we've got the German message files. If I look at the uh, command prompt here, that's in German. I've got Menus and dialogues are in German, but the desktop 
look at this. The desktop is actually still mostly in English. And that's because we haven't got a translation of the desktop scripts yet. And so my mouse seems to be acting up a bit here. Uh, hmm. All right. OK, well, yeah, we've got bits, bits and pieces of the desktop translated. Um, and of course, you notice one other thing here is, while most of the native OS2 dialogues are translated because that comes with OS2, if I go into the Well, actually, German is in pretty good shape because the screensaver has already been translated. We've got a translation of X Workplace. I I think we may even have a translation of, no. OK, dynamic icon still needs translating. So as you can see, uh, we've got a lot of pieces here that need translating. And if we don't get translators to do all of these pieces, what we end up with is what you see here, which is kind of a, a hybrid language system, which isn't something that we can really release and sell as, a, as an NLS. Now. Um, I'll show you one other, just a moment. So this is Japanese. Uh, is that coming through OK? All right. Now, Japanese is a DBCS language. And when I, I make that distinction, you notice that the text in the command prompt here uses special fonts. And that's necessary for uh, the special Japanese characters. And DBCS versions all include special video driver components, font driver components, and so on that are necessary to handle this stuff. So when I say that DBCS languages require some extra work, that's why. Now, most of the work to handle the DBCS specific stuff has actually been done already. So really, it's mainly just translation that needs doing. Um, but we still do need that. And again, if you look at the uh, desktop here, we've got some pieces that are, are still in English. Um, we've got uh, the screensaver pages aren't translated. Uh, I actually kind of did a uh, partial translation of the dynamic icon stuff, but it's not really very good because my Japanese is not particularly good. So we really need native Japanese speakers to help us do the translation on this one. And again, if you guys are listening, um, please help us do this because I can't um, do the Japanese translation on my lonesome. And one, yeah, what the heck, I'll, I'll, I'll show you one last little thing here. Because this, um, this is an example of a language where we don't have X Workplace translated yet. Um, hang on a second. Uh, are you getting my um, VM screen here? I don't see the sharing option. OK, hang on. How's that? OK, so this is Korean. Um, it was actually um, pretty clever, I think, that we were able to do this, because what we have here is Arc OS 5.0, Warp 4.52, base operating system in Korean. And we've even got the text mode fonts working. We've got the input method editor. Well, to be honest, it doesn't work that well, but um, it, it, it kind of works. Um, which is sort of impressive since 
there was never an MCP version of uh, Korean. That's why I call this a bit experimental. But we've got the desktop icons somewhat translated here. Unfortunately, what we don't have is a translation of X Workplace. So if I go through the system setup pages, you'll see we've got a, a mixture of English and Korean. So this is a good example of what it looks like if we have the base OS translated, but we don't have X Workplace translated. And again, we've got a mixture of English and uh, Korean menu items. A lot of stuff still in English. Uh, so I hope this illustrates to you just how important it is that we get pieces like X Workplace and dynamic icons especially translated into, in, into each language, because otherwise we end up with a sort of Frankenstein's operating system um, that's partly in the language and partly in English. That's basically... Uh, give you back my screen here. Okay, that's basically what I wanted to show you. So um, I think that's it for my presentation, except for questions and of course thank you for listening so any questions uh, one of the problems with the various languages is the fact that OS2 uses two different systems to differentiate between languages one being the language situation and the other being the locale as you're probably aware yeah. will there be some standard at least for the programs uh, released with Arca OS so that only one particular uh, set is used rather than a mixed set because you can end up with three languages. Yeah. Um, we don't have obviously a lot of control over third party applications. The standard that I have always used, we use this in ECS and so far we've adopted it in uh, Arca OS, is that the base operating system is provided in the ship language. Applications will always have that language provided, but can switch to other languages. And that normally is controlled by the, well, different applications use different methods to control it. What I generally do is use the lang environment variable uh, for, for a program to um, so, so if the language is set to English, then you'd get the English version of the uh, application. And that lang environment variable will, when you install, generally default to whatever the media language is. So out of the box, you should get all your applications in the language of the shipped OS. If you change the language to something Actually, no, I just, uh, that's not entirely correct. You can choose to set the, the Lang environment variable during installation. Now, what I think, what I've been thinking with respect to this is it's important to differentiate between Lang and LC. There's a set of environment, well, there's an environment variable, variable called LC underscore all, which is supposed to control the localization conventions, things like number format, units of measurement, um, date format, time format. Um, so if you set, if you want, for example, if you install English Arca OS in Germany and you want German localization conventions, um, my thinking is that it would be best to set the LC underscore all environment variable to German, but the Lang environment variable to English. In that way, you should, depending on how well applications adhere to this, and again, this is me thinking out loud. I haven't specifically tested this uh, in detail. I've tested it with some things. Um, but if you do that, you should end up with the localization conventions for the language or country that you want, but the language a different language, for example, English, if you want everything in English, or, or French, if you want everything in French, but still have the localization conventions for your locale. 
Now, we haven't provided options for that in ARCA OS 5.0.3 um, because our goal is to introduce the national language versions in ArcOS 5.1. So when we do ArcOS 5.1, I'm thinking that we will probably revisit the locale selection page slightly to make that breakdown possible. But yeah, I understand that if you install an English version of ArcOS, you don't necessarily expect to see applications randomly come up in whatever your locale is. like. German or Dutch or French or whatever. I've, I've had a few um, ex concerns expressed to me about that over the years, so I understand the, uh, the, the issue. We, it's, it's, it's something that I've thought about, uh, and I'm not going to just dismiss it as unfixable. I think there's a solution. I think, I think we can probably do this, but we haven't implemented it just yet. Maybe, does that answer your uh, question? More or less, yes. Um, All right. The standard problem I run into is I have language sometimes set to Dutch. The whole system mm. is in English, but Control Alt Delete brings up the Dutch version. Hmm. And I would. I think yeah, that's a basic part of Arca OS. Yeah. Now. We originally, this is based on standards for language support that I was actually part of a group of that kind of brainstormed this back in the ECS 1.2 days. And I'm not suggesting it's perfect, but we, we sort of felt that it was the best compromise at the time. And I was actually kind of surprised, you know, I at the time I thought of this as well it's a nice feature if you have your language set to, to whatever then it isn't it a nice bonus that you get applications coming up in your language I didn't quite see why somebody would object to that but obviously it, it is something that people don't really expect to see my suggestion for you Keith is see what happens if you change the lang environment variable to English maybe en under, I don't know if en underscore nl would work it might um, or even just to en underscore uk, but set the environment variable lc underscore all to Dutch okay. and see what happens. I will try that, but um, uh, the problem is differentiating, for example, between language and currency conventions and that sort of thing. That's, that's precisely what lc all is supposed to do. <coughs> lc there's a set of environment variables, uh, LC underscore something or other, uh, which control localization conventions other than language. And if they are not, if they are not defined, then everything will fall back to the value of lang. But if they are defined, they will override lang for that specific set of items. You can use LC all, which means all, all localization conventions other than language. Or you can use L things like LC numeric, which affects only number formatting. There's one that, that controls currency, I think. There's one that controls time and date specifically. And there's, there's like a hierarchy of um, precedence. Exactly. Exactly. This is described in the OS2 toolkit documentations, I believe. Yeah. Um, so you can look up the details there. But for just that generalized split between language and localization, it should be possible with LC underscore all. Well, actually, the way I know and understand it, at least on Linux, etc., you've got LC underscore all, which basically sets all your localization, and then you've got the separate LC numeric, LC date, etc. But that's separate from Lang, actually. If you want to change the messages in your application, you use LC underscore message or messages. Right. I don't know if we have an LC underscore messages in uh, in OS two. Generally, we've been using Lang for that purpose, but uh, uh, I'll I'll double check. I'll if, see if it if exists. You, if you use the uh, the get text uh, libraries, etc., it should use LC underscore messages. Okay, interesting. Any other questions? No. No. Okay. Well, thank you very much, uh, Alex. And All right. I think this was very quite useful, and I hope you get a lot of uh, people helping you with your uh, uh, translations because it's a lot of work, I know from experience. <laughs>
right. The more the more people working on any given language, the easier it is. Yes, yes. That's Many true. hands make light work, as they say. But that's true, thank you. Anyway, thank you, uh, Sino from uh, Berlin. I'll talk to you uh, next time. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. <laughs>